Hey friends, back in the kitchen, Amy Stoddart here, and it is a new week to our six weeks till summer kickoff, and we've got one week down, so five more to go. It's very exciting. Today I have a very simple thing for you, but an essential in my kitchen, especially for summer. If you know me and have been following me for a little while, you know I'm all about systems in the kitchen and smart prep. So one of my smart preps is always having a beautiful selection of vinaigrettes on hand because I do a lot of different things with them. They're fabulous. Uh, if you've taken my Cook With It Recipes Crash Course, you know are very familiar with my basic vinaigrette, which I also have in my, I think I've posted it here before as well, and um, it's a favorite. Now, here's another one to add to your repertoire. This is a very simple sherry vinaigrette, so made with sherry vinegar, which is lovely, especially in the summertime. When I was cooking in restaurants, we would make almost all of our vinaigrettes with sherry vinegar. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, it's, it's less acidic than white wine vinegar and red wine vinegar and even balsamic vinegar can be quite acidic. It does have a little bit of the sweetness that you might find in balsamic vinegar, so it's really beautiful and goes with pretty much everything. So, great staple to have in the house. Ooh, and I have a few little tricks for you today. Okay, so first things first, I like to start with one small shallot completely chopped up and then what you're gonna do is you're going to add two tablespoons of your sherry vinegar and you're gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice just like that now this I would let sit for five minutes ten minutes it really mellows those shallots out and they just become so beautiful like it takes that sharpness away from the onion flavor and you're just left with that beautiful flavor of the shallot um, I'm just gonna go right in and skip that because we don't want to wait around for five minutes here but definitely do that just throw them set them aside do something else in your kitchen come back to it then you can add a little bit about a teaspoon of Dijon okay teaspoon of Dijon mustard we're just gonna add a few emulsifiers now so what is an emulsifier an emulsifier is gonna help the vinegars your acids and your oils become unified so and then now I'm going to, honey is another emulsifier. You could do one or the other or both. I'm just adding a teaspoon of honey. It's going to add a little bit of sweetness, balance out the acids. It's always about balance. And now here's the trick. So if you're familiar with my basic vinaigrette, you know that I love it because it just has three, I think, simple ingredients in it that can all be on the counter after it's made so that you always have a homemade dressing on the ready. Now. There is a trick when you're adding other ingredients because we are, like we said, we added the Dijon, we're gonna add a little bit of garlic so then it's no longer safe to keep on the counter because of bacteria, so you wanna keep it in the fridge. But I'm gonna show you a little trick after we add our garlic. So with a rasp, I love pureeing my garlic with my microplane here. I'm just gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of garlic, maybe even an eighth. We don't want it very garlicky. I'm just gonna do, hold on, an eighth of a teaspoon, okay? So just a tiny little bit. Just like that. Remember, you can always add more later and taste it, but we can't take it out. <laughs> okay, so back to our So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a whisk. And you could even let those, you know, you could even have all of that in before you let it sit. It'll still mellow your beautiful shallots. And now, you wanna go half and half if you're gonna keep this in the fridge. But all, well, you have to keep it in the fridge, but if you want to have it ready instantly to add to salads, which is essential for me, I don't wanna wait around for a solidified dressing in the fridge to, uh, to come to, to be able to drizzle it on. I didn't get that right, but anyways, you know what I'm saying. So do half and half with a nice extra virgin olive oil and a grapeseed oil. You could even go a little bit more with the grapeseed oil. So the more grapeseed oil or a vegetable oil of your choice, I like to use grapeseed oil, but one that doesn't congeal, or doesn't solidify in the fridge. Your olive oils will all solidify in the fridge if they're good quality, and that's what we're trying to avoid. But we do wanna have it, the olive oil in our dressing. So we're just gonna trick it a little bit, a little bit of science there for you. So I'm just gonna slowly whisk in my blend of oils and now if you had a hand mixer that you could really mix it up nicely and you would see how this would blend or, do, or if you were to incorporate it really slowly the oil you would see how it would blend really really nicely and be completely blended completely emulsified 
Um, I can grab a blend head. Oh, I can't talk today. I can grab a hand blender and show you what that looks like. So for this, gotta get my apron on. But this, the reason why I love to have this kind of salad dressing on hand is really because of its versatility just and just that extra flavor layer with the shallots and the garlic it just goes on so many different things the sherry vinegar makes it work nicely in dressings where you'd want just a hint of that sort of balsamic flavor but not overpoweringly and it, it can go so many different ways i'm going to show you some really lovely ways to use it this week but for now let's zing this with our blender All right, here we go. An oldie but a goodie. My hand blender is completely cracked. It's been around so many places, but it still works. Okay, I'm just gonna be quite careful with this. And if you're up close here, you can see it's starting to emulsify. Now, you could do this in any blender and you don't even need to do this step with any mechanics if you just whisk your oil in super slowly. But this is the difference. Try not to get it all over me. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Lovely. Whoops. Lights on, lights off. Clap on, clap off. <laughs> okay, that is it. We have our ooh, gorgeous have a little camera doing overhead. Uh, our gorgeous sherry vinaigrette. I'm just gonna put that in a mason jar or in just a pourable glass jar with a lid, label it, keep it in my fridge, and I've got an easy dressing to throw onto salads and sides like super quick, right on the fly, and that's what makes cooking from scratch, cooking with whole foods, cooking delicious, amazing, gorgeous spring and summer meals that are gonna totally nourish you, totally energize you. It makes it fast and easy and a no-brainer. Go have fun with it, let me know how it goes. And I have a new surprise for everybody. I have a link because many of you are asking for written copies of these recipes and I don't blame you because they're so great to have on hand. So in the comments below, I will be adding a link and you can um, sign up to get the, these recipes that I'm sharing during these six weeks, countdown to summer. You can get those into your inbox. So have a look for that and have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow with some amazing ways to use this vinaigrette. All right, bye guys, have a good one.